All right, look at the prayers of Jabez. Oh, that that would have blessed me indeed. And I explained to us yesterday that blessing indeed is bringing your blessing to the physical and the earth realm. The earth realm. The earth realm. Into physical manifestation. The Bible says in John 1.14, the world was made flesh and dwelt among men, amongst men. And will be here the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and of truth. So bring it to the earth realm, into the physical realm. That is what means bless me indeed. I'll be hearing blessings as prophecies. I'll be hearing blessings as promises. Lord, bless me indeed. Let me handle it. Let me touch it. Let me feel it. Let this blessing become palpable, feelable, touchable, holdable. Okay. The second prayer I prayed is that, let your hand might be with me. That 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 your hand might... You see, the hand of the Lord does several things. When you ask for the hand of the Lord, in Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1, Ezekiel said, the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. There are so many people that have the spirit of the Lord, but they don't have the hand of the Lord. The hand of the Lord is that which singles you out of the crowd. Whenever you say, hand of God be upon me or be with me, you are saying, pick me out of the midst of the crowd. In Psalm 35, 31, rather, verse 15, David said, my times are in the hand, O Lord. My times are in the hand, O Lord. Save me from the hand of the enemy. My times are in their hand. Save me from the hand of the enemy. So when the hand of God is upon you, God brings you out of the hand of the enemy, the expectation of the enemy. The Bible says in Psalm 110 verse 1, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand. Where is the right hand of God? The place of God's full support. The place of God's full support. And that's where the Bible says Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father. The place of God's endorsement. The place of God's support. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. So the hand of God is the preservation of God. It's very important. When the disciples were persecuted, they prayed. In Acts chapter 4, from verse 29, they said to the Lord, grant the servant boldness, behold their threatening, grant the servant boldness, that by stretching forth thy hand, miracles may be done, signs and wonders may be done in the name of the Holy Child Jesus. Acts 4, 29, 30, and 31. The miracles, signs, and wonders might be done in the name of the Holy Child Jesus. And the Bible says, after they have prayed, they were filled with the Spirit. And the place wherein they were was shaken. So I'm going to pray this prayer. Let the hand, let your hand be with me. Amen. Amen. I need divine support. Amen. Amen. That thing that always picks people out of the crowd. That thing that distinguishes people. That separates and sets people apart. I need it. Let your hand be with me. Amen. Amen. So my father, my father, my my father, father, my father, father. in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. as I begin to pray, as as I begin to pray. let your hand be with me. Let your, be with me. let your hand 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 be with me. Open your mouth and begin to fire prayer. Let your hand be with me. Let your hand be with me. Sotte, 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 Sotte,
Jesus name. Yeah. 